In today's video, we'll be comparing the Ray-Ban stories with the Instant 360. The reason why I'm doing this comparison is because of both products are meant or are produced to get a first-person view shot. If you're interested in tech, please give this video a huge thumbs up so that more persons will come subscribe to this channel. And when you are that, subscribe and click on that notification bell also and also whenever I upload tech videos, you'll be among the first persons to be notified when I do so. So with that being said, let's jump right into the comparison. So first off, I really like to thank Facebook in collaboration with Ray-Ban for being the first um, company to make an AR or a smart glass better still. You see, Facebook or Mark Zuckerberg wants this world to evolve into an AR, um, you know, lineup. But for me personally, what I think is the world cannot fully go into the AR world. People will still have an AR device in their homes or in their offices, which I'm sure might be a little bit expensive, if not very expensive. But the fact that an AR, um, you know, products can come into this world is great. And um, Ray-Ban has taken that one step into that world and Facebook has partnered with them. So um, congratulations to you Facebook and um, Ray-Ban for making that possible. But for the Instant 360, it is just a first person view, camera shot. You see, you get a first person view shot. Many people, many content creators they love it because of, it gives them that first person view shot. Now, I'll do a little bit of um, pros and cons of these two devices. The Ray-Ban stories is comfortable. You see, it has more features than the the Instant 360. You can listen to music, you can you know, take up phone calls, you can do different kind of things. You can even take a photo and take videos from the two cameras in the front layer of the eyeglass hand. And when you click on it, it gives you a white um, LED light that indicates that you are being recorded or you have been snapped, you know, just to make sure you are aware of the person's um, you know, motive or intention. Personally, I don't really like that because of you know, like crazy friends that just want to do it for fun. They can just want to do it so that you won't know they are doing something and uh, just get it on camera. What do you think? Comment down in the section below. I personally don't really like the idea of that um, LED light, but it also has a huge advantage to show you that, yeah, it is actually recording and it has started its purpose. It can take smartphones on um, photos, like um, Jodna from Your African Consumer made a video, a full review of the Ray-Ban stories with Mark Zuckerberg which I enjoyed that video. I recommend you guys go check him out through the link in the description below. It is very educational and the way he explained it was that his son, um, Austin, he likes to take photos and videos of him but bringing out the smartphone totally distracts him because of, you know, he's a child. Every child will be distracted with any little thing that comes their way. Yeah, Ray-Ban did a good job. Thumbs up to you, you know, keep it up. And uh, for the Instant 360, the Instant 360 shoots 2.7K video, and which is a total buzz. You know, many content creators, I personally love higher resolution. I don't know about you, 1080p might be good. Um, 2K can be good, but 2.7K is better. You can upscale it to 4K if you want to, but I don't really see the need to put it up to 2K. Uh, getting the first person view shot in 2K, I love it. Now, the yeah, disadvantages of the Instant 360 with the Ray-Ban is that, the Instant 360, you can receive phone calls, you can listen to music, and you can do all those kind of things that the, the Ray-Ban stories can. The other disadvantage the Ray-Ban has over the Instant 360 is that you can shoot 2.7K. The resolution, I'm sure, is maxed out at 1080p, which is pretty standard. I'm sure most of the people's phone in the world are not like fully 4K or OLED. People are using an IPS normal piece version of them. One more feature that the Ray-Ban stories has is that if you are listening to music or you know, having a phone call or conversation with someone through the phone call, uh, the person next to you cannot hear what you are saying, which is, is good according to you know your average consumer. Uh, please give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe, click on that um, post notification bell, and click on all. I'm Mr. Bukwas, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for dropping by, and thanks for spending this little minute with me. Peace.